Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, October 14, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to support the channel over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, it has rallied quite a bit. Up towards the 40 exponential moving average yet again. And just above, you also have the 50. So we have been struggling at the 20 exponential, the 40, and the 50, and also the 100 moving average. So depending on whether or not the US dollar continues to depreciate like it did today quite aggressively, uh, we may see this uh, pull back. So it so, um, doesn't really mean that we are going to go back to the all-time highs. We, we are still in a downtrend here, and we are just continuing this rally. So it will probably take a few more days. And the, when the US dollar continues starts to appreciate again, I may, would expect this to uh, drop back to these lows. If you look at the, the bullish band, we can see that there is some room to the upside if we are going to rally towards uh, roughly the, the 100 moving average. So that is roughly 0.61% to the upside. Um, if we look at MACD, it is bullish, uh, RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, and so is stochastic. So momentum is definitely to the upside at this current stage. So as you look at the US dollar, Japanese yen, we are starting to pull back here. So we hit the major resistance, which also was major resistance in the past. If we can look at how often we tested this, um, this level. And now we're seeing a red candlestick here. And hopefully we will turn around and retest the previous highs here it is very over uh overstretched and also overbought and it's just a matter of time for that we see a pullback in this currency pair and hopefully it will be down here at 1204 so if you look at the euro us dollar we have rallied quite significantly as was expected this was significantly overbought and um and uh we may see this rally up towards a 20, 40, or a 50, and the best case scenario to the 100 the moving average, as we saw um, uh, one month ago, uh, give or take, one or a half month ago. So this was significantly over, over, um, oversold and also overstretched, and a rally was always going to, to occur. US dollar uh, did a pre uh, depreciate today, and then, of course, uh, helped this uh, quite a bit. But I will not be buying this. I will basically be looking for a uh, selling opportunity at one of these moving averages when there is a weakness in this market, as we are technically in a downtrend in this market. MACD is crossed the signal line, becoming bullish. RSI is bullish. CTI is bearish. Stochastic is bullish. And uh, we are right underneath here of the middle of the Bollinger Band. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, uh, you can see that we have rallied yet again above the 100 moving average. And at this current stage, we need to basically have a close, a full candlestick close above the 100 moving average in order to confirm that we are going higher here. We have been very overstretched here in the bullish band for several days. I think it's just a matter of time for this to basically turn around and head back to the downside. It will probably occur when the US dollar starts to appreciate yet again. So uh, we can see that the MACD is still bullish, RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, and so is the stochastic, even though it is crossing the signal line at this current stage. But um, no interest to basically enter this market whatsoever. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, uh, we saw that oil was um, all over the place today, ended up in, in positive. We are still struggling here at the 150 moving average. If that breaks, then we may see this drop all the way back down to the very lows here roughly 3% to the downside. Otherwise, if we see a rally, we may, we may rally up towards 100 moving average, which is give or take uh, 1%, the, 100, the 50 moving average, which is 1.62% uh, to do the upside. That's probably as far as we will go. It is on the edge of being over, oversold, it's overstretched, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a rally in this currency pair in the next day or two. The MACD is still bearish, CGI is bearish, and so is the Stochastic. So, hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.